Good afternoon, everyone. This is the doctor. And of course, we have a special guest. This is Cheshire for none of you that have met him yet. He is my wonderful kitty kitty. And he loves to come up to me every time I'm recording and just interrupt the show. So <laughs> we decided that he would just be in my arms while we're recording this. And today we're going to be talking about the Red Chocobo card. We're going to be talking about the Reeds card and what my opinions on them are, because I actually feel like for many players out there who are actually doing a holy build, I think this card could potentially be very worth it for you. So why do I think that? Why would I say this MR card is super great and you should be investing in it? Well, if you're someone who is running a entire holy build, so that would be running a composition like Ayaka, Kilfay, Salir, some type of mixed team like that. This is one of the easiest ways to increase your holy damage by 20%. A lot of people don't realize that holy is actually light element. So even though Ayaka is a wind element unit, when Ayaka casts holy, holy is going to be modified by that light attack up. Now, not only that, this is going to be a card that does add 20% magic to the individual unit that is equipping it. So she is going to be able to, or any of your units that are going to be having this, are going to be able to have that light attack up plus 20, magic plus 20%, and magic plus 127 from the card on that individual unit. Now, this is very relevant because there's not many ways to modify the damage of holy. When you think about spells like holy, you think about adding plus magic as a party ability. You think about adding plus magic attack, but there's not really a third way to enhance that damage further. So when you see a card that increases light attack on it, this is a great opportunity to utilize this card to boost maybe your three man arena comp damage or maybe your PVP damage composition. You know, 20% light modification damage if you're running like giant is a all holy composition team that's really powerful if you consider not only that but the ability that you know that's going to be affecting three units uh, in a way you could almost consider it a 60 percent boost in damage across all three units right so if you're just like a glass cannon build this could be a very good card for your units now, when thinking about other units like Thancred, Engelbert, you don't really think about light attack. Another thing to talk about here is that this would also be an incredible card for Ramza, right? It's gonna add that plus magic up and it's gonna increase light attack. So you could end up running a composition that was very similar to like Ayaka, Kilfay, Ramza, where you're focused on doing holy, you're focused on doing the Banish Blade and you're focused on doing large amounts of light element damage. So I think this card is not to be underestimated. I think there's a lot of people out there who are like, oh, it's Red Chocobo. I don't really care too much about it. And honestly, I didn't think about much about it in the beginning either. And just like I don't think much about the Esper either, because the Esper really is like the third best slashing attack Esper out there. It's not an Esper I'm really dying for. So I kind of just, you know, threw Red Chocobo under the bus and I didn't think about it. So I would encourage all of you guys to look at your teams, think about the future, and particularly look at whether that light attack plus 20 is going to benefit you. Now, there is another card that is also limited that does add light attack on it. And I just want to compare it real quick for you guys. It is going to be the Scions of Shadow card, and it is going to add light attack 40. So this is, of course, significantly, I would say, more powerful on a party wide scale. But you also have to recognize the individual effect. It only adds dark resistance and it gives almost the same magic at 127 and less HP. And again, we do have the Final Fantasy XIV banner coming out again in the future. We know that JP got it again. So we are gonna probably have an option to pull for the Scions of Shadow card once more. So these are all things to think about. Personally, I think the Red Chocobo card is probably better than the Scions of Shadow card because you're modifying your base magic 
and it's going to have a little bit more survivability associated with it. It's going to be easier to max. It's not going to be like this hard, like Final Fantasy 14 is coming out and I have to get the Scion and Shadow card maxed out. It's not going to be one of those things. In terms of maxing Red Chocobo, it's going to be significantly easier to max it and get that max stats currently on it. Now, let's talk about the Reeds card, because the Reeds card is also gonna be one of the cards that's actually given to every player, uh, along with Gafgarion. And while I initially thought this card was gonna be really good, I kinda have reservations on it now. So you do get a 154 attack, you do get an attack plus 20%. Uh, for the individual unit, you're gonna get evasion minus five. And then for your party-wide effect, if it's maxed out, you're gonna get plus 25 accuracy. And I imagine there's a lot of people out there who are like, oh, this is gonna be so great against Venera. And yeah, it, it might. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking at first too, is like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, get it and max it and it's gonna be a counter to, you know, evasion compositions. Honestly though, I'm not sure this is gonna be the best card. And if you're going up against evasion compositions, why wouldn't you just bring a unit that has Holy, that has Sharp Shot, or why don't you avoid those teams altogether, right? If you're thinking about guild battle, you're going to be able to choose your opponent. Of course, you can't choose what opponent attacks you. So in a general sense, yeah, this might be pretty good to like increase your general defense against evasion team. But I think overall, if you're gonna be targeted by an evasion team, you're like, you can't prepare for that, right? Like you can't prepare for that. And even then accuracy plus 25 might not fully save you. Where I think this card is going to shine, I think this card is going to shine when we start doing things like uh, Deep Dungeon, uh, when we start seeing the second version of the tower, because I think a lot of us who did tower remember that top floor uh, where we had to go up against Venera. And if you didn't have a sharp shot or if you didn't have a holy unit, being able to hit Venera was a pain in the ass. I literally remember in order to clear that because I had lost uh, my Ishtola, I had lost my Lucia, and in order to clear that, I literally put, and I can't remember the card right now, but it gives the single unit accuracy plus 25. So I put that card on Sid for the accuracy plus 25. I put Excalibur on Sid, and then I had a 25% chance to hit the Venera, and I hit her, and that was how I cleared the tower. So being able to have a card like this in more PvE content, I think, will actually make things like climbing the tower uh, or climbing deepest dungeon. Uh, it's gonna make it more viable. It's gonna make it easier. And I think that's what this card is really gonna be used for. And I don't think it's a card you have to max out. I think just having it, right? Like having it innately, that's gonna be a plus seven accuracy for the party. We're probably gonna be able to quite easily get it one or two star. And I mean, that's probably gonna be like what? Plus 15 accuracy plus you know, some combination of that. And I think that's gonna be fine. I think that's great for a party-wide buff. And that's probably gonna help you in the future. It's not something you need to max. It is a UR card. It's something that will be expensive to max, most likely. Now, if they do offer some type of a deal, yeah, probably max it potentially. But really, like, it's not the biggest deal in the world. And I think, I think this card is almost, you could say, a trap. I almost feel like it would be a trap to go all out on this card just because that accuracy plus 25, like if you think about all the different cards you're putting on your units, like I have Odin, for example. Odin's gonna be going on my units no matter what. My other two cards are not going to focus on accuracy. More than likely, they're gonna be complementing whatever the DPS units are in my team. I think most likely, like if I'm running my magic team, I'm gonna have Trousseau and Rama on, right? And I like, I don't see, I don't see how I would make this card fit in like an arena or a live PVP build. I really only see it being built for a PVE. Now, there is one more card coming out and that is going to be the Scions of Beolv card. And I know there's a lot of people who are very passionate about this card just because it adds such a high amount of agility up. I think this card though is really gonna be for the whales. It's gonna be a card that you're gonna chase if you're a whale. And I don't think you should max it out unless you are 100% a whale. The reason I say that is because you're not going to get the maximum stats on it unless you are able to max out the Cyanobiolv card, right? So I think a lot of us are like, oh man, it adds so much agility. And then the next thing you know, you have a two-star Cyanobiolv card and you're like, okay, like, 
I guess I have a two star until the third Final Fantasy Tactics collab. And then you have to weigh, right? Like, well, is it better than Odin? Maybe it's not better than Odin. What's it better than? Like at two stars, is it really gonna be better than whatever four star card it is that you're using or that you built? Probably not. So in terms of the cards, I almost feel like all of them are a little trappy uh, and you really have to be really specific on what card you need for your composition in order to make it powerful. And in this current state, I would actually just recommend the Red Chocobo card. I think the Red Chocobo card is gonna be the best way to go for the majority of players that are using holy spells. Most people have Ayaka. A lot of people have Kilfe right now. Between the two of them, that's two units that can use holy. You probably have Ishtola, right? Like there's so many units that use holy. If you don't have either three of those, you're probably leveling Salir, right? Like that's <laughs> like everyone probably has some of those units leveled. So I think the red Chocobo card is gonna be the card to go for. And I hope you guys agree with me. Uh, if you guys are gonna be buying Vizior, uh, please do use my affiliate link tonight, uh, dig.gs slash offer or dig.gs slash coins. And of course, we are gonna be streaming all evening tonight. We are gonna be doing our delete polls tonight, uh, right at reset. So I hope to see all of you guys there. Uh, you can come check us out at uh, dig.gs slash twitch. And hopefully I'll see you guys there tonight. Thank you so much and uh, have a great rest of your day, guys.